This is a leaking water pump. This guy made it almost to 600,000 and this is considered leaking for Volvo. Uh, reason why I bring this up is because if it's not leaking like this and your truck is under warranty, warranty normally is up to 250,000 or it goes five years. Um, so if it's not leaking like this, if it's not leaving a puddle, uh, it's not leaking. But this one is really leaking. <laughs> This right here is a leaking, not leaking water pump, if that makes any sense. So uh, what it means is that um, if you go to Volvo and they see this, they're not going to, warranty is not going to cover it because it's not making a puddle. It's there, it seeps out, which they call is normal. Um, so warranty most likely, I mean, I guess if you, depending on what dealership you go to and all that, is not going to cover this under warranty. Uh, just wanted to let you know on that one. If it's not leaving a puddle like this or more, <laughs> it ain't. Uh, it's not covered under warranty. I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, rules may have changed. You can call in with your VIN and find out. But most likely, that's what they're going to go off of. I'm not trying to talk bad against Volvo. I'm just just trying to save uh, some time for. Uh, for you if you go there with a seeping water pump it's not going to be considered as leaking unless it's actually leaving a puddle so i'm going to start with what i do to take off the water pump on a d13 so you can see is the belt pulley water pump i'm going to zoom out to show you where it's at approximately so it's on the passenger side, front right corner of the engine. All right, so to take it off, I start with cracking loose the bolts on the pulley. They're in the front, they're 10 millimeter. You get in there with the uh, ratcheting wrench. If you can get a flexible wrench, it's perfect. You crack loose the pulley bolts. Sometimes you have to hold the pulley because it slips depending on how old your belts are. If your belts are old, it's just gonna slip on the belt. But if you jerk them, you gotta be careful not to jerk them too hard. You can cut yourself on the fan and um, unnecessary uh, cuts and bruises. But break loose the bolts on the pulley first, then take off the belt. The belt you need comes off for uh, you need a half inch. I use a half inch adapter from a 3 8 to a half inch in here, and I put my flex head ratchet. I will make it's kind of hard to explain real quick, but uh, I'm gonna try to make a, make make sure I make a video of how I do it because I don't use any specialty tools. It's just flex head ratchet adapter and a three uh, three quarter inch deep socket with a one foot through its extension and that may, it does the job you don't have to have any special tools okay so once the belt is loosened you remove the pulley because if you don't remove the pulley you're gonna have to fight move the fan blades or something else to get it out otherwise with the pulley push it forward you rotate it around and it comes out then the rest of the stuff is pretty simple except for that 12 millimeter bolt right there at the bottom so it won't come out all the way unless you remove the tensioner um, and there's really no need to take it out you just take off all the bolts so there is one two three there's a fourth one on the other side here is a new water pump so you can see just start from here and just get the hard ones here and then that one comes off and then this one you leave it in and then you just pry grab a pry bar once you got all the bolts loose um, top one's out the bottom one don't fight it just leave it leave it there <clears throat> grab a flathead screwdriver 
I go in from here into right here and you just rotate it and the only thing there after the bolts are out uh, the gasket is holding it onto uh, the water pump housing pry that off it comes off really easy I clean the surface with scotch bright pad um, you don't want to use anything like sandpaper with your fingers because of uh, it's aluminum and there is if you try hard enough you can create little pots potholes and everything in there and it's gonna leak so just clean up the surface lightly put a gasket on here if the gasket is on the new water pump it only goes one way because of that little tab right there right there the tab goes on it goes there it really goes on only one way the thing I like to do is on these little corners right here right here I like to put a uh, little dab of uh, gasket maker just to hold it into place while I'm going in and you want to stay away from the housing until start some bolts and then you push it up against the housing and you don't move it because you don't want the gasket to move or bolts. And that's really easy uh, little trick is just to remove the pulley first so you can work around it you don't have to take anything else off apart and then also when going back together you want to make sure you put this bolt so when you're looking at it, it's the bottom left bolt. You want to put it in, it's going to come with new ones. So you can put it in, in here before uh, you go in to install it. Because once the, pool, uh, the water pump is on the water pump housing, uh, that bolt would have to, you'd have to pull the water pump out again or remove the pulley for the belts. Put that bolt in. So that's a little trick. Hopefully this helps you. Um, if you uh, like it, if it helped you, like and subscribe, please. Um, share it if you think it's important. Uh, thank you.